Hi, I'm Graham Bullock and I'd like to show you how to build a barrel revolve surface for the side glass creation of the Audi A5. This is a professional workflow. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is build this curved set here and you have to take into consideration where you're going to break the curves. Uh, I normally break them where I'm going to have patch boundaries but this is up to you and it's up to your it's up to the strategy of your own particular model. Next, once you've done the next job is to pick the curve set and bring them out to the area here of the theoretical side glass. Start there is the good position to start. You model the curves to fit this opening here and you end up with what's known as a 3D curve. So if I just switch those off for the moment and I switch on the 3D curve this is what you end up with. You can actually create it in this location if you wish. You don't have to create it on the y equals zero and move it. You can create it here. But it's useful to have the y equals zero projection curves for later for trimming out. Take a degree two curve and the apex of this curve structure attach a point and then attach the second point vertically below it like so and then go into F7 and you need to give it a bit of crown at this point I like to measure the radius and it will do that so take the move locator tool and just bring that back in so that you can see it more easily I'm going to put it there that'll do you can see we've got a radius of um, 1300 and I, it's far too flat at the moment so we need to pull out a little bit more and I'm going to set it at um, 600 I'd like to set it around 600 so the way I'm going to do that it's not with this curve I'll get back into F6 I'm going to take a three-point arc and I'm going to snap the arc to these points and then delete the original curve and in here I'm going to type in 650 go to F7 And once again, and you see we've got a true arc, which is fine, exactly what we need. So next, we'll take the extend tool, we we'll merge on. And we're bringing it down here. Now this is where the glass has to retract to on the series production car. Don't forget this isn't the actual side glass, this is a surface offset outwards of that by about some 20 millimeters so the actual side glass is going to be in here and that's going to be uh, inside the door. I'm going to actually planarize this curve Okay, we're ready to start. Take another arc and I'm going to curve snap it to a point about halfway up the A pillar and then 
I can't snap any more otherwise it won't be plainer I'm just using the left mouse button I'm going to put a curve there I'm going into information and you see it's 2450 so in a a modeling uh, situation concept modeling situation you're not going to use a strange uh, radius like that so I'm going to go to the nearest rounded off number which is uh, 2500 millimeters radius now I'm going to center its pivot and move pivot put the pivot on the curve I'm going to snap the curve to there extend and just give us enough material so that when we make our revolve it's not going to be too short about there now I want to find out where the locus is going to be for this revolve curve curve perpendicular line perpendicular to curve and just plot a line way out here somewhere and I'll do it again at the other end of the curve so this then is the approximate location for our locus we're not working to engineering data we're just conceptualizing orientate this curve because at the moment it's in orthographic and I want to actually bring it in true view so let's pick the curve and center its pivot and then rotate it so that it's radiating to this point uh, somewhere around here I, I don't know exactly where because this method is not most accurate uh, if you're building from blueprints you're building a concept model or from sketches from the designer you wouldn't have any uh, engineering data on the positioning of this theoretical uh, side glass surface so you'd have to do something like we're doing here but later on in the project uh, once the engineers really get involved you start to get hard data from engineering as to where that surface is going to be and it's a question then of the engineers and the designers discussing where the glass can be because often the designers want it a certain shape and the engineering are saying that you know cost and feasibility department that is too expensive etc well I think this is a good point at which to wind up this first video and I'll see you in part two